Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. We're going to start playing Stardew Valley. The 1.4 content update just launched for PC uh, for this game today. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite games. I think I have like 500 hours logged on it between PC and Switch. So uh, I'm excited to see what's been added to the game. I read a little bit of the, uh, the update notes, but... Uh, I wanted to have some things be a surprise, so I stopped reading because I quickly realized how spoilery it was. But it seems like the update is pretty massive. And I'm very, very excited to see what's been added to the game. So we are going to start a brand new farm today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, whoops, did I just hit load after saying I want to start a brand new farm? Let's try that again. We're going to start a brand new farm today. Um, and what we're going to be picking... This is definitely definitely meant for multiplayer maybe i'll get some friends to join me for this series eventually but i just want to see what the new farm looks like so it's the four corners farm it says the land is divided into four parcels each with its own perk perfect for a group so we're going to try that farm um let's go scott for the name um i don't even know what to do for the farm uh, well, we're alert the audience. Let's call it the audience farm. Audience farm. Favorite thing. Video games. Oh my god. There's different dogs and different cats now. Alright, we're going dog for sure. And that's the, uh, the default one from before the update. So we got that one or that one. We're gonna go with this one. It reminds me of the old, like, uh, we had basset hounds growing up that looked kind of like this. Um, okay, hair. I mean, right now my hair looks pretty much exactly like that, doesn't it? <laughs> um, let's get it dark, though. Not quite that dark. Something like that. Shirt. Are there new ones? Let's go backwards. Oh, man, I can't tell. I've always just clicked until I found a semi-decent looking one and moved on with my life. I'm sure some of these are probably new. Jesus, there's like 70 of them. <laughs> Come on. Give me something good. Something relatively normal. I think that looks good. Oh, yo! There was never different pants before, were there? You could always just change the color, but it looks like regular pants and shorts are our only option. And then, uh, dress and skirt. Let's try the shorts, since we've never done it before. Make them black. And then accents are still just beards. We're gonna have a beard, why not? Um, and though I've seen it 10 million times, we're not gonna skip the intro. Just because I've never recorded this game for a Let's Play before, so let's do it. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Oh, thank you. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I wonder what it could be. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. By the way, I haven't tested my camera placement. This is just where I had it for Jedi Fallen Order and Pokemon. I don't think it's going to be in the way of anything in this game, but we can move it if it is. Terminated. Terminated. 
Where are our eyeballs? Hey, there they are. We were sleeping. Life's better with Joja. I've actually never done a playthrough where I let Joja Mart take over the community center. I've always, always, always finished the community center. By the way, I'm going to be uh, vigilant about finishing the community center. I always try and get it done in year one. I usually miss and end up finishing it in spring of year two, but we're going to try for year one. Dear Scott, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what really mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Audience Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh, he's still alive. Which seems like an odd thing to say. He seems significantly younger than, than Grandpa was. Also, I should say right off the bat, I am a Stardew Wiki user, a militant one. So relatively often, you will see me checking the wiki. Hello, you must be Scott. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm is right over here, if you'll follow me. Alright. So this area is exactly the same. This is Audience Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Hey, Lewis. Let yourself in, why don't you? Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Scott. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit. Introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks, Robin. Alright. We're right into it. Day one, year one. Let's do it. Hey, the inside of the, uh, the house is different. I can tell you that right off the bat. This table is different. And the flooring and the walls are not the same as the regular farm. Uh, weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Uh, parsnips. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mary Lewis. Thanks, buddy. Alright, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. And 2 out of 28 people greeted. Alright, first things first, let's get these parsnips planted. Clear a little spot right in front of the house for them. Tools aren't in the order that I like them in. We'll fix that in a minute. Knock down 
this one. <clears throat> Use basically all our incredibly minute amount of energy from the start of the game just to plant these parsnips. I originally played this game on Switch. I did my computer at the time was a MacBook Air. And while it can run this game, obviously, it can't run it particularly well. So I bought it on Switch, and then when I upgraded to an actual PC that can, you know, do things other than Netflix and iTunes, I got it on here too. Alright. Let's see here, we wanna go like this. Gonna do rows of three, because of course eventually we will have sprinklers. And they are nine tiles. Wait, did I fuck that up? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're getting nine. Alright. <clears throat> wood for a chest. Let's knock down one more tree just for that. We are going to explore the farm. But after I do this, I want to dip into town real quick and get some more seeds. And we'll try and meet some people too. And I want, what do I want? I want pickaxe, then axe, then hoe. Then siphon watering can. All right, well, let's go to town. Wait, hold up, how do I do here? This nine, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Uh, I need twelve more. To fill out our little initial garden. So, I don't think we're gonna be running into a whole lot of new content in the uh, early game. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna be playing this for a while. So, I will keep uploading it. All right, let's meet some people. Gus, what's up? I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierce got the good stuff. That's all you got for us? That's our first time meeting. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. You got anything else? I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I will do that. I don't think talking to him at the counter counts as meeting him, so... Hey, it's Mr. Scott, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Alrighty. Uh, what did I say? I need 12 more? Alright. On we go. Anybody around that we can meet real quick? Hello? Town's deserted. Yeah, that's a new animation. That never used to happen. Small, but there you go, new content. <laughs> oh, hey, you're the, you're the new guy, cool. I'll see you around, thanks, Alex. Good talk, good talk. And we got the calendar, and we got the help wanted sign. We'll come back to town in a bit. You can knock out a whole bunch of people to meet at the saloon once it actually opens in the evening. Let's uh, plant these seeds and then we'll walk around the, the new farm. I wonder if there's already cottages in place or if they only show up if you're using this as a... Uh, uh, for multiplayer. Our energy is basically gone. still water here. It's quite a bit smaller. Oh yeah, okay, th this is a lot closer to the edge. So, oh, this is still part of our farm? It is. But I can't get down there until we've upgraded our tools pretty significantly. I think you need silver to get through that stuff. Alright, 
greenhouse over here. Cave is there. Yo, this is massive. I can see why it's meant for multiplayer. That's good though. Plenty and plenty of resources. Alright, there's more up there. A little water patch there. I should probably not cut down that grass. We'll eventually want it for our, uh, for our silo. Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah, it's Grandpa's Shrine. Duh. If you've never played that game before, um, Grandpa comes back at the end of your third year to, uh, judge how good of a job you've done on his farm. Alright. Oh, we're gonna have lots of fiber at the end of this. Man, all the place, all the ways through are blocked by stuff that we can't, uh, can't do anything about yet. Gonna have to get used to where everything is. Oh, what's up here? Whoops. Okay, this is- is this into the secret forest? Oh no, it's just to Marnie's. Pick that up, pretty sure I need it for the community center. It's one of the spring foraging bundle items. Anything else noteworthy around here? Well, would you look at that? We have a little mini, uh, mini quarry area. I'll take some copper and the geode. Gotta watch that stamina though, it's basically empty. All right, we can get, oh, I don't have room for the, uh, the geode. You found a geode, the local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Alright, we're out of stamina. We'll come back for that. We don't exactly need copper on week one anyway. Alright, did I go to all four corners? It is called the four corners map after all. Yeah, I, I did. I did. This is very cool and very, very excellent for multiplayer. And for anyone who tried playing multiplayer before, um, very good news is that you can now... Um, have separate money because something that a lot of people didn't like myself included was the shared money thing even though you know it makes perfect sense it kind of became like you're playing with your friends and you're having to map out okay i will you know i'll upgrade my axe now and then four days from now when we have enough money you can upgrade yours and then four days after that you can do yours Alright, we're meeting Linus. How are we doing on this? Badly. Seven. Is Demetrius around here anywhere? Alright, we can't get to the mine yet, obviously. We knew that. Or the spa, for that matter. There's good old Demetrius. Hey, bud. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, the local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm struggling to find the local plants and animals- oh, pardon me, I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mario? She's interested to meet you. Well, if she's home, we'll meet her right now. Nah, she's gonna be in her room, isn't she? Nope, she's not. But we can't get in regardless. And then what's his name was down there? Shane or something like that? Alright, we can try and meet a few more people. Community center is still locked, obviously. A few days in, we'll get access to that. Hey, it's RB. Come back! Ah, oh, come on. Alright, we met you already. Oh, here's some folk. Hey, there's Maru right there. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. 
You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. And Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. That's all Penny's got for us? All right. All right, that's the mayor's house. Um, Willie's not back from his fishing trip yet, but what about his uh, weirdo who lives here? Is he around? No. And I got no inventory space, so I'm not going to bother digging those up right now. One thing I know for sure that's new is there's new structures that Robin can build that uh, involve fish in some way. So even though we won't be able to afford them for a while, I kind of want to go to her shop and uh, and see what they look like. I don't know who you are. Oh no, I don't, pardon me. I don't know who. You, why are you talking to me? Yeah, pleasure as always, man. Thank you for that. And Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. And Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelka Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Yeah, I know that. We met Gus already. How we doing? 13. Can we get one more? <laughs> Hit the halfway mark before we call it a day. Anybody around? Anybody want to say hey? Oh, here we go. We got two more. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Thanks, George. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I'm gonna call you Evelyn. That's actually super creepy, calling someone who's not your grandmother Granny. But thank you. Alright, let's go to bed. I don't have anything to sell. We're gonna have to go spend our 200 and 260 gold on some more seeds tomorrow, I guess. Or maybe we'll we'll bank it for a few days. Um, yeah, I'm not selling any of that. I want it all. Wait, what the hell is this? Add to existing stacks. That's a new button. Okay, we can toggle that on and off. That's, uh, cool. I don't know if it's particularly necessary, but I'll take it. Alright, day one complete. Let's go to bed. So I'm thinking, that was, uh, I mean, it's been 20 minutes already, so that was a particularly long first day. Oh, Quint's here. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. What an odd remark. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you need a furnace. Yeah, I know that, Quint, thank you. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Thank you, sir. Learn how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Alright, what was I saying? These are probably going to be long episodes. Um, it's just the game kind of lent itself to that. It's just, you know... It just does. So I was thinking we'll do a week per episode, give or take, depending on how many, how long they take. Alright, Willie wants us to go down to the beach to see him, which we'll do later. For now, we gotta water our crops. Yeah, a week per episode might be a little bit ambitious. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll probably do an hour. An hour per episode. So I want to get to all that sweet, sweet new content as soon as possible. Alright, watering is done for the day. Uh, I want to see something real quick. Uh, if I hop into the menu... Okay, that's as much as we can zoom out. I'm not going to keep it like that, I just wanted to see how much of the farm we could actually see. Yeah, let's zoom back in a little bit. Maybe we'll keep it at like 90. 
I think that's nice. Oh man, what the hell are we doing today? I don't even really know. It's been a while since I've started a new farm. Uh, I guess we'll get Clint to break that open. That's something we can do. And then we'll use a bunch of our energy clearing off more of the, uh, the farm. I want, like, our main area completely cleared as soon as possible, because I want to start planting as many seeds as possible. Also, did that, did that cutscene count as meeting Clint? I'm going to check that in a second, too. Oh my god, trees take so much energy. save a little bit of energy because I want to fish once Willie gives us the fishing rod. So let's call it a day there for the clearing. I could always hit the saloon and get some stuff to uh, get some stuff to clear. You know what? I want to get the I want to get the zoom back into 100. I'm just so used to it being at 100. Let's go. Uh, Clint opens at 9, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, we got a leak. We got a couple, in fact. And what is that? Daffodil, dandelion, something like that? Daffodil. Uh, do we need... Is the leak part of the community center for spring? Uh, let me just get the bundles page up on the wiki. It is. We can sell one of them, though. I forgot how just desperate for money you are early on. Hey, look at that, and we can sell a daffodil too. We're gonna go up there and down by Marnie's and search for some forageables. Cause we gotta start getting our, our spring crops planted. Hey, you're new. Jass or whatever your name is. Hi. That's all you got for me? All right, Clint has been met, it counts. We haven't even met Abigail yet, no Harvey. All right, well, we're about to go meet Willie, so that'll knock another one off. I'm gonna keep all the cutscenes in this one, because like I said, I've seen them all before, except for the new ones. There are new ones in this update, but uh, it's for YouTube, so we're gonna do them. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month down the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the, old, the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received a bamboo pole. Thanks, Willie. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Alright. Thank you, Willie. Appreciate you. Uh, let's try and catch a couple fish. Apologies in advance. This requires excessive clicking. And my mic is excessively close to where my hand on my, on my mouse is right now. And that's because it's busted. The core is literally being held in place by an elastic band right now. And if I try and move it further away, I shit you not, 
I'll spend an hour trying to get it to work again. I gotta go hit up a Best Buy or something and get myself a new cord. But until that happens, which will probably be this weekend, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. I tried messing around with the noise gate a bit, but I basically found that I have a noisy keyboard and a noisy mouse, so for it to block out those sounds, it will also clip out the start of every word that I say. And yeah, like either it completely picks up the clicking anyway, or it just uh, messes with me talking. I couldn't find a sweet spot. All right, one more fish, because that's all the inventory space we have, then we'll go back to the farm. Hello? Yeah. Alright. Ah, uh, I want these two. Alright, we'll come back at some point. They're probably both clay. Especially if I make a special trip to come back and get them, then they'll definitely both be clay. Alrighty, fishing rod acquired. Man, not having the horse is terrible. Alright, dump this community center stuff in here. Uh, don't need the watering can right now. Let's free up a little inventory space. Now let's go to Clint's to get our geodes cracked open. I wish we had the mine carts at the very least. If not the horse yet, but we don't. Actually, maybe we'll head up to Robin's. I want to see if we can take a look at the new uh, the new farm structures, even though we can't can't afford them yet. Hey, it's Abigail, future wife. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, it sucks to be you. All right, we're at 19 people. Almost there. Another daffodil for us. Thank you. Process geode. Alright. We should probably sell that because we're piss poor, but we're gonna donate it. Be good guys. Oh, hey, I haven't met you yet. Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks, bud. And I don't think Gunther counts as someone we have to meet for some reason. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Oh, well, we're gonna have this place filled back up in no time, Gunther, don't you worry. Alrighty. Oh, nice. I didn't know we got money for that. Let's go to Pierre's, man. I've met everybody there, right? Penny, Vincent, and Jess. Yeah, I have. Pierre's is closed tomorrow, so we really do gotta go today.
Damn. Oh man, so many people in there. Have I met them all? Okay, what's the next cheapest? Potatoes. Um. Alright. See ya, money. It was nice while we had you. I don't think I met you yet. Uh, breathe in. Okay, yeah. They're not gonna have actual dialogue while they're doing this. Caroline, we haven't met you yet. We've met you, we've met you, and have we met Marty? Alright. We're down to six people to meet. I'm pretty sure all those just counted. Let's go plant our potatoes. And then we're gonna go foraging down by Marty's farm. Pretty sure I already put a daffodil in the case, right? Uh, yes. Come on. We're not even gonna have enough energy to water this. And my watering can is in here. Oh crap, I should really have the stupid uh, indicator on. Come on man, you can do two more. Yeah, good job. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on us and let's get down to Marty's and try and get some forageables. Yeah, this farm is cool. It's like impeccably designed for four people. But I also, I kind of like it for, uh, just me. Uh, I wish we had energy to knock stuff over, but we don't. There's usually some onions down here somewhere, though, that we can sell. There's one. Usually a little patch, though. Hey, there it is. That'll get us a little bit of money. Actually, you know what? Let's eat a couple and do some fishing. Ooh, man, those don't do much energy. All right, one more, one more. Cool, now let's fish for a little bit. Just wanna maximize our profits for the day, which is kinda hard to do early on. I also forgot how much this starting rod sucks. Mm -hmm. No bait on it, you just gotta wait forever for something to bite. And it makes it all the more disappointing when it ends up being driftwood or something. I did read that one of the new craftable things is gonna be a machine that'll turn uh, driftwood and stuff into just regular wood. Can we get an actual fish? Just, like, just one? One would be fine. Ooh, I want that. I want that. But there's no space in my inventory anyway. Hey, look at that. We got a bream. If we see anything else worth picking up, we will dump, you know, the algae or the or the wood. But I think we're just headed home at this point. Is the hats guy there yet? No, he's not. You have to wait until like midway through year two before you can get it. But I love like the the Holden Caulfield esque hunting cap that you can get. Have I met you yet? I think you were working out. Oh, Leah, I haven't met you. The spring is lovely, thank you for that. Oh no. I already had 23, so she was one of the ones working out and that did count as meeting her. 
but it still gave me the introductory text because we hadn't like spoken yet. Oh, I forgot to I forgot all about going to Robin's. We'll wake up tomorrow. We'll knock some crap down. Clear out a little bit more of our area here. And then we can go to Robin's. Am I saving any of this? No. Alright. Use the last little bit of energy we have to get this filled just so we don't have to do it the first thing in the morning. And just come right out in water. Uh, Queen of Sauce is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Rain all day tomorrow. We don't even have to water tomorrow. In that case, get rid of the watering can. All right. Day two. Level one foraging, plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. We can craft wild seeds and we can craft the field snack. Field snack is very useful early on. All right, we just made some decent money there. No queen of sauce. Oh no, she starts on Sundays and then has reruns on Wednesdays. Is I think what it is. Alright, let's try and mix up the trees we're knocking down so we can get all the uh, the field snack supplies. Alright, a couple pine cones. So that's either oak or maple, and then that's the other one. do on a rainy day before the mines are unlocked. Boom! Got ourselves a field snack. Oh, let me get rid of this fiber for a second. The stones are more important. tree and then we're done for the day nice and symmetrical sort of not at all Have energy for the day. Oh, you know what? I want to go get the rest of that copper while I'm thinking of it. That's down in our little quarry esque area. Is that on this side or is it on the left side? I think it's on the left side. Oh, let me through. Nope, it's right here. 
little geode. Hey, the chicken statue. I rarely to never find that this early. Alright. Back up top. Just gonna try to pick up those seeds, but I don't know why. Be dumping them right into the bin. Let's go. Clint's, then the museum, then Robin's. That's the plan right now. We'll also probably do some new, fi some more fishing. I should take a peek at the um, at the fishing bundle. Twenty-five copper ore. So I can glitch this. Sorry, one sec. Oh, I wonder if he patched it out. I forgot that we just hit a brand new, relatively large update. Well, it, this is actually, this is the biggest update since I started playing the game. 1.3, wait, was 1.3 multiplayer? I think it may have been. The last big update, I was not playing this game yet. This is the first one. All right, let's, let's listen. Yeah, it sounds like he patched it out. You used to be able to, if you just pulled the amount that he was looking for into your inventory, you didn't even have to bring them to him. But you'd hear like a ding when you got the right amount, when you had pulled the amount out into your inventory. And it would uh, it would work as if though you, as if you actually had them. But I didn't hear the ding, so I don't think it works anymore. Why are they giving us that quest before it's... Like, we can't go into the mines yet. And what's the, what's the time on it? Two days? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Open my geode, please. Alright. Got two new things to donate. Hello, Gunther. No reward yet. Boo! Alright. Up to Robin's we go. for that. So this is just locked, right? It'll become unlocked when I get the cutscene with the mare. Yeah. Wait, Robin's working on Wednesdays, right? Yeah. Alright, construct farm buildings. Coop we know about, barn we know about, well is already there, silo, mill, shed, fish pond. Okay. 5,000 gold, 200 stone, 5 seaweed, and 5 green algae. Alright, note to self, start saving seaweed and green algae. Raise fish and harvest their produce. Fish multiply over time. That's so cool. All right, then we got all the cabins for multiplayer, the stable, which is already there, the slime hutch, shipping bin, and we're back to coop. All right, so it's just the fishing uh, pond, or the fish pond. But that is dope. I want one as soon as humanly possible. 5,000 gold. We might build that before a coop, because I think they're roughly the same price, right? It's a little bit more expensive for a uh, fishing pond. That's sick. All right, let's go do some lake fishing. Whoops. We certainly won't find seaweed here, but we, I think, can find green algae here. 
I'd go to Pierre's for more seeds, but they're closed on Wednesdays. So, you know, that's how that goes. There you go, green algae. I wonder how much of this new stuff has been added to the, uh, the wiki already. I would imagine a lot. I was so, so bad at this fishing mini game when I first started playing. Get the chest, get the chest. Like to the point where I just didn't understand how it worked. Geodan. Rice shoot? That's new. Plant these in the spring, takes eight days to mature, grows faster if planted near a body of water. Harvest with a scythe. Isn't that new? I've never had rice shoots on my farm before. And plant in spring, we can go plant them right now. Okay, that one went pretty poorly. Now you're a tricky little bastard, aren't you? Doesn't help that our bar is about as small as it could possibly be. There we go. Chub! Alright, let me pop open the wiki. Where are the fishing bundles? Fishing bundles. Do I need... Carp. I do. I don't need the chub. Wait, what, what's... Okay, carp is found anytime all seasons, though. If he was a spring-only guy, I'd be saving him for the community center. Whoops, but he's not. So we're going to sell it. We need the money. Uh, can we get back to Clint's to open that geode? I think we can. He closes at 4, right? Got to make a little bit of haste. Oh, I forgot I had a coke going. Yep. That tastes like it's been sitting there for 40 minutes. Forgotten about. Pardon me, 52 minutes. Hello, sir. Got here just in time. Another donatable item. Museum's open till five, I think. So let's go give this to Guter. Still no reward. Come on, Gunther, you're killing me. Alright, let's go plant our rice shoots, I guess. And we have so much energy left. We can clear more or we can go somewhere else and fish some more. Maybe we'll do some uh some river fishing again. Or ocean. Cause I want to start collecting some seaweed. I'm not kidding, I'm getting that fish pond as soon as possible. Just because it's new. Also, I can't wait to see our new dog. What day does the dog show up on? I can't remember. Apparently there's... I thought I read in the patch notes that there were viable clothes too. Um, sell, sell, sell. So these are going to be better if I plant them near water? I think it said that. Let's see, one. That's not a spot, right? Yeah. Two, three, and four. Do I have the fertilizer recipe yet? No. Alright. Cool. Let's go dump that in there. Gonna need that in the morning. Sorry, as I see that, might as well grab it. Alright. We gotta go grind out some more fishing. And this, honestly, this day might round out the first episode. I know it's not particularly exciting, but this is going up every day for the next little while, so you don't have to wait too long for some, uh, for some more stuff. Let's go back to the lake. I like lake fishing, and we can... No, I said ocean. I said ocean. Let's do the ocean. I can also hit those, uh, those spots in the sand, finally. Alright, 
took an unconventional route to get there, but hey, we're here. I bet I can donate that, can I? Yeah. Anything else? One of those worm spots vanished. There was two before. Alright, we're actually gonna make okay money. We don't have enough wood to repair that bridge, and frankly, we don't really need to yet. You only need to when you want to get married, but it's also... Some pretty decent forageable stuff shows up there. I don't think my rod can reach yet. Oh, it can, I lied. The darker the water, the better the fishing spot it is. Allegedly. Also, I forgot we have shorts on. That's actually... Such a minor addition, but I love it. So I wonder, where do we buy clothes from? I had read that there were, like, you can customize your clothing. Like, not just in the start menu. Like, you can change clothes. Also, come on, it's getting late. Something bite. Give me something. Hey, I was just about to say I'd even settle for seaweed. Also, I also forgot what this game looks like at night when you don't have a glow ring on. I usually have like the massive orange aura around me. At some point, I'll be streaming this probably. And if I stream it, I'll port it over to YouTube. I won't do it in like when I'm recording just for YouTube like I am right now. But I'll show you guys some of my other farms that I, you know, logged like a hundred hours into. New record, got a herring. I gotta make sure herring's not- if herring is like spring and rain only, then it's gotta be saved for the community center, but otherwise we can- we can sell it. Come on, fishies. More seaweed, that's fine. I want to catch one more fish before we go back to the farm. One more, that's it. Man, remember I look at myself and see my posture? I am just appalled. I really gotta sit up. Much better. Hey, we got a fish. Oh no, you're gonna be too evasive for my crappy rod, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Good job. Hey, we caught a meal. That we do need for the community center for sure. Hey, gold ore, are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's look at the wiki, let's look at the wiki. Uh, where's eel? Spring and fall only. Unfortunately, we can't sell it, we gotta keep it. What was the other one? Herring, I don't think we need a herring at all, in fact. We do not. All right, well, let's get the heck out of here. I can't believe I caught an eel with the regular rod. I remember them being quite a bit more difficult to catch. Maybe I got lucky, maybe I am remembering wrong. There's no room in my inventory, what am I checking the trash bins for? Because I like the sound it makes. Alright, hopefully we can get into the mine soon. Honestly, it's been a while since I started a fresh farm. I don't remember when all these events start to trigger. We're gonna find out. Okay, in here I can sell that. I can sell those. Into the chest goes the eel, the seaweed, the starfish to be donated, or eventually I'm gonna have multiple chests and stuff like ore and copper won't be in the same chest as stuff like that, but... I mean, I guess I could build a second chest already. Yeah, let's do it. Look it. Put it right there. Make it black. Wait, did I make that black? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, coal, you and you. Stuff that's going to the blacksmith or the museum will go into that box too. I'll keep stone in here and uh, wood for that matter. All right. All right, and I think we're good. 
Actually, it's not that late yet, and we have some energy left. Let's knock some stuff down. We have till 2 in the morning. If for some reason you're watching this and don't know that. We have till 2 in the morning. No. Finish this tree before you become exhausted. Come on. Can I finish it? No. We're sluggish. It's alright. Let me... I'm not as magnetic as you eventually become with magnet rings. There we go, good enough. <laughs> Take your time, bud. Alright, we need to get some acorns in the morning. If I eat this, is that going to make a difference for my sluggishness? I don't know. We still might wake up with half health tomorrow. Um, actually, I'm curious. Is it going to rain tomorrow again? Beautiful sunny day all day tomorrow. Alright, go to sleep. Level 1 fishing plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. Alright. Alright. 300 big ones. We can get some more seeds. Day four of spring, year one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you bastard. I don't have the scarecrow recipe yet. Alright, guys. We're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, as time goes on, we'll get into more and more of the new content with this update. Because there is a lot of it. If you go and look at like the patch notes. Um, I guess patch notes isn't the right word. The update notes. There's a lot, a lot of new content. Hopefully we'll want to cover more and more of it as we go. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below, let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time for Stardew Valley episode number two. Thanks for watching. Oh, where's my cursor? Should we try that again? Thanks for watching.